Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a general reading for you from the 1st till the 6th of April 2020 using my Angel Tarot cards as well as some um, traditional tarot cards to just see what we have for you. Okay, um, as always open your heart to whatever is for you and whatever is not for you just release it and let it go with love. If you want to have a personal detailed reading the details are down below for you and let's see what we got. Okay. Fantastic. So this is um, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for Pisces as well as for your Venus and your Saturn because I feel that during this time we want to focus on what is it that serves you positively in love but also what is it that serves you positively Pisces in your, in your power, in your strength, in your energy, in your abundance um, in being able to move forward during this period that is a little bit uncertain for many people okay um and for all of you out there that are affected in ways that does stress you i do send you all the love from my heart um may this serve you in absolutely positively um beautiful ways okay so let's just have a look first card coming out mm -hmm. and feel free to subscribe to the channel like the video I do put out weekly videos for you, for general guidance for your life. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. I do want to um, thank so many of you that have actually given me such beautiful support, um, beautiful donations, beautiful messages. So much love. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so your cards are out, and we're just going to draw some extra for you from the Radiant right away deck. And see what we are coming up with, and I'll show you the cards as I do the reading. Okay. For some of you, there's some delay of plans. There's some challenging information coming across, and... Um, there's, some, there's, there's a lot that kind of needs to be tweaked. So some of you have got quite a lot of questions that you're asking at the moment. And um, you're kind of asking yourself, where are things going? You know, some challenging information, plans are being delayed. And also some plan, some... I feel like almost like some disappointment coming up for some of you that... Um, information is relayed almost without tact, you know, in a sense that you might feel that I would have appreciated if you told me that, but if you didn't tell me exactly the way you told me, okay? So I feel that some of you might be in that flow of energy where you might be feeling a little bit hurt by um, not so much what is happening and what is being relayed, but how it's for example being relayed to you okay um but with the king of cups there this is the energy that you brought yourself into okay and when i say that this is the energy that you brought yourself into what i mean by that is there was that decisiveness about this is what i'd like to have this is where i'd like to go this is what i would appreciate in life um this is the direction that i'd like my life to take okay um and Many of you may have been thinking more with the logical side than you ordinarily might have been doing, you know. Whereas before you might have maybe gone a little bit veering more towards the emotional side. There's, there's some logic that started to come in there and it was a little overwhelming. And it may have been a little bit difficult, you know, a little bit overbearing for the people around you to adapt to this almost um, altered version of you know who you would normally be okay make sense um but you really in a way it was actually quite necessary i feel there's a couple of things that you might have let slide and there's just certain things that really could have been could not have been overlooked anymore okay let's just see what additional information we're getting there for you from these beautiful beautiful cards let's just see what extra we're getting for you but that's exciting, eh? I think many of you are, in a sense, almost standing up for yourself for the first time in your life. Uh, or 
more than you would normally do and it's a little bit like you know what do i do now <laughs> probably shouldn't be eating my hands um but then clarify there you get like the ten of cups which makes sense the emperor the nine of cups and the eight of pentacles yep there's a money situation that came up somehow there's a money situation that came up okay um and the way that things have always been done the rules had to be tweaked things had to be changed okay change had to be brought about and you knew this and you had to you had to just come about and do it so um not just in where we are at the moment so not just not just with corona but with, with everything else there is some changes that needed to come about and you were like that's it needs to be done okay and you know you made the right decisions and i also feel that you kind of feel inside you feel lighter okay many of you have really spoken up for yourself um and you feel lighter as a result you really really do which is incredible and um you feel kind of sexy <laughs> um there there is that sense of really stepping into space into power into energy so what might have started out as just a simple sort of decision that needed to be made or um, uh, maybe like a tweak that needed to be made i think once you actually started to implement the changes whether you actually spoke up or whether you just got it in your mind you know once you got that clarity you actually went from maybe saying you know this might be nice and that might be nice and i feel this is overdue to actually realizing that the change was necessary okay um significant life event a powerful revelation leads to change time to spread your wings hmm. you see it was time for you to to make the circle bigger okay which is great because your motivation did not only come from i need this i need that how do i win how do i win you were looking at a much broader picture and because again because of that you know some difficult decisions needed to be made um some some choices had to be made um <coughs> my apologies even those people that might have not agreed with your choices initially they're beginning to see the sense in it which is wonderful okay um so all is really not lost in fact all is really just beginning and i'm going to clarify but i feel that this decision that you've made going forward can have quite a big impact on the life of others and yourself okay so let's see let's see what this going forward this decision is all about because um archangel shamuel over here shamuel is all about new beginnings it's all about new starts it's all about um going from I almost want to say one extreme to the next but not in the not in the negative sense of the word you know but going from something that's that's really almost big and complete that a lot of people might feel does a need changing or tweaking yeah you come and you're like guys i think it needs a little bit of tweaking okay um i think it needs a little bit of tweaking i need it needs a little bit of change and um again people don't always like change they can really hold on to things sometimes and um so here you come and you're like well it's time for change okay so let's see yeah so <clears throat> it's it's interesting one half of, it says of the population for some reason so i don't know why my guys are telling me that but it's like one half of the population might see you as this horrible terrible disgusting slime of the earth human being and the other part is really looking up at you with so much admiration because they realize that you are doing what needed to be done and they're realizing that it wasn't it couldn't have been easy okay um which is fantastic and you are picking your battles so carefully so wisely um and one of the main reasons for that is what might to some people almost like the ones if you want to call it like that 
staying behind or being left behind, what to them may seem like they're being neglected, for example. You know that you are acting always really in the greatest good of everybody. And so you know that when the time is right, those people will actually realize that you did actually act in their best interest. So you're okay with stepping away from certain things. You're okay with um, pulling yourself out of the fight because you know that your intentions are pure. And at the end of the day, because you know it, you are actually okay with whatever other people may or may not think. Okay. Very good. I just want to see... There we go. So, in the previous card we had King of Cups, and here we have King of Cups again. So this is a double confirmation for you, really, that um, you're stepping into that power um, it's almost like where before, many times, you know, the situations would happen and life would happen in a sense. And um, you would maybe make the best of the situation. You're beginning to really realize now that when it comes to the best of the situation, that you've got quite a lot of say in there. Um, in the determining factor as to what the best of the situation actually ends up to be. So again, a lot of you are really stepping into your power um, and you are okay with stepping away from things. You are actually okay with, with not being liked and with not being approved of because you understand that sometimes you will see or grasp a broader concept that many other people just do not. Okay. Um, I see that Saturn's there in the back as well, which actually makes sense. For those of you that do follow my Facebook Live, so I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning. I did discuss it a little bit this morning from a more astrological point, how it makes sense because Saturn um, went into Aquarius, I think it was two days ago, you know. Um, and then in, on the 1st of July, it goes into Capricorn, and December it goes back into Aquarius. Um, Uranus being in Taurus, uh, that's, that's, a bit, that's a broad, but anyway, to basically bring it back home for you, a lot of the things that are happening globally at the moment, these are not really isolated events that's happening on Earth and the rest of the universe is just happily carrying on. Everything impacts everything else. And it is by being so in tune with your emotions as you've always been, what might have before felt to you almost like your emotions are running the show. You are really mastering those emotions now, which means instead of, instead of checking where the wind is blowing and then kind of like, you know, setting yourselves in that direction and hoping for the best, you are now realizing that, you know, I don't maybe need sails in the first place. I, it's kind of time for a motorboat now. So whatever the wind does, I can go where it is that I feel I need to go. And that all kind of five or sorts make you sort of victorious on the battlefield of life, okay? On the good battlefield, which is fantastic. Then we've got the emperor, which we had previously in reverse, okay? Um, and the emperor is very much about logic and structure and checklists and you know, procedure, that sort of thing. Whereas for many of you, you are more used to, to flowing with your heart, you know, to flow with how's it going, to flow with how's it working. But you are getting better at, 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 at almost being the sort of leader figure that people are looking up to. You are becoming better at that, which is fantastic because going forward, the world needs leaders, okay? And when I say the world, it doesn't mean that you're going to become the next president, but this can become the leader of your company, this can be the leader of your household, and the leader of your own emotions. In a world where everybody's starting to run around left, right, and center, we need people who um, can kind of stay calm in the middle of the storm. And life is calling upon you. It's calling upon you quite strongly, so many of you may be feeling very overwhelmed at the moment, 
and you may be feeling like, oh my goodness, you know, um, it's like the thunderstorms of life are hitting me left, right and center. But what it really is, is that life is calling you to your higher purpose. And the, the question is, the question for you basically, um, Pisces, is will you, will you step into that space? Will you fill that gap that life has provided for you or not? And there's no right or wrong. You can say yes, fantastic, and the universe will support you. You can say no, fantastic, and the universe will support you. Because if you say no, then the offer will just be made to somebody else. Make sense? Okay. Let's see what we've got for you. Let's see what we've got for you. Passes. Did you all have a beautiful birthday? Hmm? Yep, let's take one more. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. You see? So, you're still finding your new way. So this is, it, it, it's very much, for many of you, it's very much uh, stepping into, a, you're taking this bold step, stepping into something new, feeling a little out of place, out of sorts, finding a way moving forward. Okay? But, whereas, Often when people get the Eight of Swords, you know, it might be that you're feeling very trapped. You may be feeling overwhelmed, but you're not throwing in the towel, okay? And then life gives you new offers. And these are offers that, that often, as we had with the King of Cups before, because you see in the beginning you just made a choice, okay, I'm just going to do it. So when life gives you these smaller offers within the bigger offer, you know, whereas many times before you would have said, no, I don't think so. Not for me. Lovely, but not for me. You, you are accepting the cup, okay? You are there with page of wands. You are taking the emotions. You are stepping forward. You are basically stepping forward. Um, I suppose, for for lack of a better word, you are you leveling up, okay? You and you know that you are doing it, and you are doing so with a real sense of decorum which really serves the greatest good best and for many of you you are just really stepping into that fullness and the potential of who you are and it's it's opening all the gates for you and this is so fantastic i really really love this reading um and i will tell you Pisces, i have been a little bit concerned about you guys you know of course with you being a water sign um, so tuned into the emotions with everything that's happening at the moment um, everywhere around us everybody panicking everybody stressing I've been a bit concerned about you guys because I was thinking oh my goodness they are gonna be thrown you know what are they gonna do but look at you shining look at you shining okay wonderful Pisces um, so that is everything for you if you want more guidance you can always order a detailed reading from me I sent you a downloadable video for that um, and then if the video resonates with you like it subscribe to the channel I do a reading every week you can also join me on Facebook where I go live Monday Wednesdays and Fridays mornings at 7 o'clock South African time GMT and um, before we let you go let's just Let's just leave each other with love, okay? So, for those of you who watch my channel, you know that normally in the beginning of the reading art that we connect in our hearts, but I think before we leave, let's just take in a nice deep breath and then we separate or we go our separate ways with love, but in our hearts we remain one, okay? So, nice deep breath in. If it's fine for you to relax, keep it in the heart space. Release and let go, okay? Whatever in the reading is for you, just anchor that into your heart, anchor it in your mind, anchor it into your soul, that's so how you can serve your life in positive ways. Into that heart space. And whatever's not for you, just release it and let it go. So whoever else it's meant for, that they receive it in love. Okay. Thank you so much. See you all next time. Bye, Pisces.